there we go, pop that window. So now it's a window, which kind of temporarily resets my, uh, oh yeah, this is working. GTN 750 on my tablet. Let's see if it works. So we'll zoom in to the GTN 750. Right, here I am on the tablet. Flight plan. Add a waypoint. Kilo. Let's go to let's go to uh, red table first. So we go nearest. VOR. Red table. DBL. Oh, that's so cool. Flight plan. Add a waypoint. D B L. Enter. Red table. <laughs> and then we'll go uh, Denver. Sure. Get rid of the message. We'll put in a temporary uh, fake squat code. And hit enter. Oh, it's just so nice. Now, watch this. We're going to put it onto the stand. Oh. So I need, I need to make these, these legs go a little bit closer. Yeah. There we go. That's the only need to try that on the only Android tablet you have. Yeah, yeah. You will also be able to use the X-Plane CDU for the Zebo. Oh, that's true. Do I need WebFMC for that? Or can I just pop out the FMC? Your your review of the stand, I get mine tomorrow. I, I yeah, the stand is is I mean it's nine bucks right, and it I'll try to show you guys what it looks like here. Um, I'll use the secondary camera here as well. So. So as you can see here, there's my keyboard, and there's the GTN. And so the stand can just be right there. And you can, you know, you can change the angle of it to go more upright or back. And then, of course, you can change the feet here if you have a larger device. Um, but yeah, so... As you can see there, it's pretty slick. Sorry for the... Uh... But it's working perfectly. But is it stable when you type on it? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just hitting it. Yep, it's very stable. Flight plan, we'll go to Denver, we'll load procedure, load approach, we'll do the ILS-8 via lips, activate, boom. So yeah, I am on a uh, extended mouse pad here, so I'll move it over to the desk to see if it slips around at all. OK, 
Okay, so uh, utilities, VNAV, VNAV enabled, fuel planning. Yeah, it seems pretty stable. I'm digging it. Yep, I'm digging it. The only thing that I wish it, I wish the Android, you know, was the perfect size. Obviously, I can, I can take this and I can go full screen, right? But it's a little bit distorted now. But it's workable. It's not the end of the day. Pretty cool. All right, so uh, the better option, in my opinion, is the real Sim Gear GTN 750. Um, but it's just a little bit out of my price range right now. Um, But this is a this is a good alternative, uh, and you know, one hundred and one hundred twenty nine, one hundred twenty nine bucks. What do you guys think? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, cool. Yeah, flight guy RB. Yeah, uh, Cirrus Max gifted that. To you and 19 others. Uh, this URL, what Android app is it running? Um, it's running Space Desk. So if you do a search on the App Store for Google or Google Play and you look for Space Desk, it's free. And then it'll, and then you install it also on your Windows machine. And then basically your, yeah becomes a third monitor and then you drag over it uh flight guy rb how much is it the real sim gear one i think it's 500 but this one is 129 so it's not too bad xp pilot how are you sir xp pilot where are you are you uh, are, where are you are you in the united states i must know these answers yeah it's pretty cool Yeah, having this, having this right there, the GTN touchscreen is going to be really slick. What was the issue with the iPad? Uh, the iPad for me kept disconnecting. Like I'd be going along just fine, and then it, it disconnect. Come to think of it, the iPad Mini might be the perfect size for it, if it works. But I mine kept disconnecting, but it could have been something you know on my end. Uh, Jago, the name of the stand, it's basically the, it's the Amazon, uh, basics, uh, adjustable tablet stand. So do a Amazon search for that right there. And that will get you the stand. iPad battery saving disconnects Wi-Fi if it thinks it's idle. Oh, maybe that's it. That could be it, this URL. No way to turn that off, if I recall. Huh. But yeah, that stand was nine bucks. It's perfect. Like I said, and it's you know pretty lightweight. This is the tablet, and in fact, if I were, if you were going to go the Android route, I would definitely go with an eight inch because the ten inch I think is going to be too big. For if you're using it, if you're using it just for the GT, and I would go with the eight inch. Uh, if you're using it for 
other things, then you may want to get the 10 inch, but it's 7.99 euros. Oh, perfect, Jago. Perfect. Yep. I don't like a So cool. There's the chart diagram. Can move it around. Approaches. Arrivals. Departures. The Aspen Seven departure. Yeah, this is pretty slick. Cool. I'm digging it. I am digging it. So now I need to install my other light. I'm getting a little bit of glow on that side. May have to turn down the lighting a little bit there. Could be a green screen filter problem too. Always tweaking with the studio. So what which tablet do you have, Jago? You got the Huawei tablet? Okay. 10 inch? Okay. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to properly get the aspect ratio going or not. I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm a little bit under the weather today. I don't know if you guys noticed. A little bit of a sore throat. So I'm going to go relax the vocal cords. Let's go over and uh, say hello to someone that's flying into Salt Lake City. Do you have the real dimensions of the GTN? Um, six and a half by six. No, that's not right. Yes, it is. That's that's right. Yeah, it's six and a half wide by six uh, inches height, uh, height by 1125 depth. If you're in the real world, <laughs> anyway, this guy's flying in Salt Lake. Let's go catch his landing. Thank you guys for all the bits, the follows, the subscribes. Thank you, Max, for the gifted subs. Um, I'm going to be on pilot edge tomorrow morning. So in the Zebo, it's a red shirt day. I don't know if Prozac will be around or not, but we'll see you guys very soon and, uh, take care. I'm going to go arrest my vocal cords.
Tchau.